Hello, my name is Scott Phillips and today I'm going to endeavor to answer a question that I was given uh, just recently. The question is, was Zacchaeus uh, the man from the Gadarenes and the woman that washed the feet of Jesus, were these people saved? I think to answer this question properly, I think we need to basically make a few points. Paul writing Timothy said, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And so we must first understand that Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, though they are in the, our Bible uh, that shows the New Testament, uh, the New Testament, for all intents and purposes, from a covenant point of view, did not begin until, the, until Pentecost. The scripture tells us that Jesus was born under the law, he lived under the law, and he died under the law. Not to do away with the law, but to fulfill the law. So Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are written, they, the things that transpired in those books transpired under the old covenant. And it was not until Jesus had uh, suffered, died, been buried, and resurrected, did the new covenant begin. And Jesus told all throughout his ministry that there was coming a point in the future that he would not be there in body, but he would be there in spirit, the spirit of truth, the comforter, etc. And he told them, the, the fickle disciples that deserted him, that denied him, that uh, uh demonstrated very little continual faith. Uh, he told them, go and tarry in Jerusalem until you be endued with power from on high. So the stories that we read in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, these incredible experiences these individuals had with Jesus, no doubt they were tremendous. And what I would say to you is that they received everything they could receive under the old covenant. Jesus made this statement, that, that John the Baptist was the greatest of all the prophets, but the least in the kingdom is greater than he. Jesus drew a line of demarcation, of distinction between the old covenant and the new covenant. Even in his teaching, he demonstrated that there was going to be a higher level of expectation for the believers in the new covenant. The old covenant was, don't do this, but Jesus says, I, I tell you, don't, not only don't do this, but you also need to watch what happens on the inside of you. So to answer the question, Zacchaeus, and the man of Gadarene, the lady that washed Jesus' feet, they re received in fullness everything that was available in the Old Covenant. But we read that in the New Covenant, there is a, a new plan. The plan of salvation in the Old Testament was if you were a male, you were to be circumcised. You were to be in the congregation of the Jews. You were to participate in the feast days. There's three times a year if you were a male, you were required to be in the, to, at the temple three times a year. That's the reason why that they were all there at Pentecost. They were all there uh, at the Passover. And so to be saved as a Jew, there was things you had to do. In the New Testament, we are not expected to keep the laws of the Old Covenant, but we have, still have things we have to do. What are the, the commands or the, 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 uh, the, the instructions for a New Testament Christian? It, it basically, repentance, uh, baptism in Jesus' name, and the infilling of the Holy Ghost. How do we know that? Because that is what Jesus uh, commanded, put, put the kingdom and the keys in the hands of the disciples. And this is how they built the church that Jesus purchased with his own blood. Everywhere they went, they preached repentance. They preached and, and practiced baptism. Uh, when when uh, Philip went down to Samaria, what did he do? He baptized. And the Bible says he baptized every one of them. Uh, when he got to the house of Cornelius, the angel told Cornelius, Peter will tell you what you need to do. And what happened? Peter commanded them to be baptized. You also see this in 
You also see this in uh, uh, Acts 19. Paul came up on believers who had been baptized under the Old Covenant. They were baptized under John. And he rebaptized them. So there was a significant uh, emphasis by the apostles, Jesus' hand-picked men, that were to preach the gospel, fulfill the Great Commission, and everywhere they went, repentance, baptism in Jesus' name, and also a tremendous focus on the infilling of the Holy Ghost. Acts 2, we see they were filled with the Holy Ghost. Acts 8, Philip went to Samaria. He preached the gospel. They believed they were all baptized, but they didn't have the baptism of the Holy Ghost. The apostles came down to help them do that. In Acts 10, we find that that the Spirit of God filled them with the Holy Ghost. And if you read it, it's very interesting. It's worth a study. Find out how the apostles knew they had gotten the Holy Ghost. There is a, there is a sign, but you, you, we'll let you read it. Acts 19, not only did he rebaptize them, but he laid hands on them that they might receive the Holy Ghost. So in the Old Covenant, there were certain expectations. To be an Old Covenant, you had to be a Jew. The Jews were the only ones going to make it in the Old Covenant. In the New Covenant, anybody could be a part of the, uh, the kingdom of God if they followed the prescribed directions and had faith in Jesus Christ. And so I think that answers the question. I appreciate the question. Uh, we recently started a radio program on Saturdays at 11 o'clock on 103.9 uh, in Jackson. It's an FM station. And we're on from 11 to 11.30. And uh, if you're in the Jackson area, I encourage you to tune in. And also send me questions. These are great questions that provide a great opportunity for me to answer them on our radio program. Um, where do they say? They were saved in an old covenant way. But everyone in the new covenant, in the New Testament, demonstrated in the book of Acts. That's how the apostles fulfilled the Great Commission. They all, there was a message of repentance. There was universally an experience of baptism in Jesus name and there was an infilling of the gift of the Holy Ghost and so uh, we must not be satisfied with an Old Testament experience when the kingdom is available to all those who will be born again of the water and of the spirit so God bless you